Good morning. Welcome to Mandara Loft. Here we go again with another short video. This time I'm showing my Andalusians and some blacks that I have. <coughs> One indigo. The indigo I cross with the blacks and that gives you the Andalusians. I've been getting a lot of uh, requests for them. So I figured I'd put some out. And I'm trying to get a hand out of these uh, Andalusians so I could put the two Andalusians together. And then they'll raise uh, the light laced uh, indigos with the black faces. But they're coming. It's taking a while to get them to go. But I finally produced this. This is out of my bed. My, uh, a lot of my Bastine stuff and my angels. And, uh, these birds are not for sale. This is pretty much my breeding. So I got another pair or two in the other loft, but I figured this is enough to show. And uh, next time, I've been getting a lot of calls for the silvers. <clears throat> and if they're wanting to see the Sions. But I can only do one thing at a time, so next week maybe it'll be uh, the silvers. And I do have a couple of pair I have to get rid of. Leave her alone. <coughs> He's driving her. She's going to be dropping eggs anytime. I'm trying to raise some stock birds, see if I can raise more of the Andalusians. I kind of like uh, the lacing on them. And that steel blue look. And they all have beautiful eyes, as you can see. They're going through a moat. They'll look a little better in about another two months. But, uh, this is what we got for now. And I wanted to get something out just to show. So, this is about three years of work to get them to this stage. Uh, there are guys racing the same blood that I got right here. Actually, my friend uh, Bobby Rodriguez, I had given him one of the blacks, and uh, he's got it on his team. Uh, I had a couple of other ones out. And people have been clocking them, so they did good for me, and they're doing good for them. We haven't put any of the Andalusians on the team. I, I haven't uh, let nobody have them yet because it's the color's new for me to get in and I'm just starting to get them where they're working. <coughs> anyway, that's it. A lot of these birds, you see, they got the yellow bands. Those bands are from uh, 2018, I think, 2019. But these birds are only this year's. I just ran out of bands and I used old bands. Even that, uh, what do you call them, Rubens, Rubens or Rubellas or whatever. He's uh, got an old band on him, but he's only last year's youngster. I had run out when I bred him too. These birds were mostly bred around September. That's why I didn't have bands. And I had really put the young birds going. These were birds I was playing with. And I finally got some birds I like to show off. Anyway, that's it from Bureau Beach waiting for guys to move on down join our club raise some pigeons and uh, maybe open up the feed store maybe not maybe a restaurant another restaurant we could always use another restaurant <laughs> okay guys that's it I'm done for today that's what I have next week I'll show the silvers, maybe during the week, if I can get Alex to do it. I have a couple of uh, old birds 
I have to put out for uh, sale. Uh, they're all uh, Hubens, and the Hubens are $150 a pair. It's not negotiable. That's firm. One's a blue splash cock. One's a blue checker hen. Uh, <coughs> I got a grizzle that's to die for in there. Uh, the blue bar hen. And I think, uh, I'm not sure what the other pair is. I gotta look. I forgot. But there's at least four ready to go. And uh, I'm gonna sell some of the babies to that I raised from them. Because uh, I already kept one, so the other one has to go. That gets to flock down a little bit get the feed bill down so they don't bleed me to death so keep them flying guys good luck have a good season and uh hope to be seeing you soon in sunny vero beach florida between Fort pierce and sebastian ciao